see a question here, Chewy, what is your advice on calling three bets at final tables? It's a good question. Uh, there are a lot of spots at final tables where you don't want to call three bets at all. And that's typically when you're below, let's say, you know, 25 to 30 big blinds and you face three bets from in position. Um, the nature of how the ranges get constructed is such that if your opponents understand to be very selective or completely remove calling open raises in position from their game, then their three betting range is fairly expanded. Right. And as a result of that, you as the opener um, don't really want to call uh, because you know your open range is tighter, the three betting range is tighter, and you just take certain hands that sort of cross the threshold of reasonability and four bet with them. Um, so in this case, that's not exactly what's going on. You know, we cover the big blind pretty significantly, uh, and we cover everyone here. So we wouldn't be denied the opportunity to call three bets, but it is important to understand how that mechanic works on shorter to mid stack sizes uh, so that you don't get burnt in, in scenarios where you could have either, you know, taken a more aggressive option uh, right. or just gotten out of the way. And, and Risen uh, asks, uh, what's the bottom of your range for defending here? I would probably call all suited aces, all pairs, um, any suited connector. Um, it's tough because, uh, you know, at, at this point, we'd have seen certain hands that have played out, uh, which, you know, didn't make it into the replay with X Tracy. So I don't know exactly uh, what my feeling would be. You know, at right. the point, I get six handed with someone at the final table, often you have some insight on the way that they think about poker and the way that they're playing. All I can say is that the three bet is too small. So sometimes in those cases, when people make these exceptionally small raises, uh, their range gets very strong. Um, but at the same time, you're still getting a very attractive price. So right. yeah, it goes both ways. Uh, I would be very hesitant with offsuit hands because it's just harder to kind of, you know, make high equity draws and you're often stuck with one pair against a range where, yeah, I mean, if they put all the money in, it's, it's usually not the case that somebody will find the requisite bluffs with smaller three bet sizes like this and also follow it up with, you know, post flop aggression that is, uh, sensible. So you could call certain hands that might be fringe and then take it from there. If you thought right. that there, there was sort of a, you know, sometimes players get fed up, you're open raising a lot and they go for a three bet, but they lack kind of the, the deeper mechanics and an understanding of why and how to, how to play that spot appropriately. So in those cases, yeah, I mean, that, that's, I guess why you want to be observant and, uh, and, uh, you know, ha have a good sense of where your opponents are at. 